cat to be salute. For joining me today. Now, as you may know, there's some beef going on and Cardi B and Tasha K, which is a YouTube drama channel creator, she's actually being threatened to be sued by Cardi B. So up next, I'm gonna let Tasha K explain her side of the story, and then you'll actually see a post from Cardi B. Thanks for tuning in to Radio2TV.com, where independent music lives, baby, and independent music. somebody that I run to to talk to and we got a lot of love for each other but things just haven't been working out between us for a long time and it's nobody's fault it's just like I guess we grew out of love but we're not together anymore I don't know it might take time to get a divorce and I'm gonna always have a lot of love for him because he is my Says two hundred thousand dollars to finance her music dreams. She put out mixtapes. Ain't no party like a Cardi B party. Like you know, I got that party pop. And appeared on the reality show Love and Hip Hop. She gained some recognition. Y'all, thank you so much for reposting my videos, following. But it was her social media savvy that put her on the map. I went from like five thousand followers to like millions of followers. Thirty six. So as you heard before, you know, obviously Tasha K is in her feelings. She's feeling some type of way about Cardi B. And a lot of people feel like, you know, she's going overboard with the stalking. And there is a difference between actually reporting um, actual news and making up stuff. So Cardi B is actually saying she's going to sue her for defamation of character. Um, so people think that it's actually questionable what's going on between the two ladies because everybody likes to report on celebrity news and drama and things of that nature but some people feel like Tasha K went too far she actually allegedly said that Cardi B had herpes and then before that she said that culture was not actually her child so there's a lot going on in that situation what I've noticed about Cardi B it's all good that she made it up to 36.8 million followers but she doesn't like what came with that so with that being said, she did go on a rant about how she felt like people are using her name to chase clout and Tasha Kay's name was not mentioned, but we all know what she was talking about. Six million and counting on Instagram. Time Magazine named her one of its 100 most influential people. But along with the fame comes criticism and internet trolls. When I was like a nothing, everybody was rooting, and now that I'm finally here, people have a problem for it. Like, I work so hard, why do people feel like I don't deserve it? You were trying to say, snap out of it, just forget about it, just ignore it. I, I do snap out of it, and I, I do ignore it, and it's just like... She just can't do it. I mean, that's what made her famous, so she definitely does not want to go ahead and let it go like she does not feel like in this case she it's fair because Tasha K gets to you on YouTube every day and make up stuff about her allegedly and Cardi B doesn't feel like that's very respectful and she just doesn't like it so she's gonna sue her allegedly we haven't had any word on anything besides that there was someone that stepped forward on an undocumented source that said you know hey you know she is gonna sue I'm close to Cardi B but what bothers me about, you know, the way Tasha K brought this information out, it wasn't exactly like you couldn't see the message, you couldn't see anything, and a lot of people have a concern about that. And so with that being said, you know, I personally went to school for journalism uh, for at least two years, and you just can't just go around saying people have herpes or venereal diseases, because that is defamation of character. And at the end of the day, it is a HIPAA violation, because people shouldn't be sharing, you know, medical centers can be in trouble for sharing such information, so why is it okay for her to do that? So um, a lot of people also are concerned that the, um, the relationship is actually just puffed up a little bit more than it's supposed to be. Maybe it was a business partner contract is what a lot of people think, and you know, the baby just happened to come along with that. 
So I'll let you let me know what you think of all those rumors and alleged gossip about Cardi B. Well, go ahead and leave those comments below and show us some comment love. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in to Radio2TV.com. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. I love you. Hi. But it's her personality that people cannot seem to get enough of. I feel like people feel like I'm very reachable. When I talk, I make a lot of mistakes. Like I might say words and the words are not even in the dictionary. The, heart. the Bronx New York native has been speaking from her heart as far back as she can remember. I grew up in this neighborhood. This is high bridge right here. Born Belcalis Almanza. Ends meet, she found work at this grocery store. 